Welcome back to Cherry Picking, and today we're going to see if one can of Wipe On Clear Coat from Vice Grip Garage can cover 45 square miles of steel. Let's get into it. That's right. Today we're going to uh, take old iron sign over here and uh, make her look a little bit different. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different, a little bit shorter, because pretty much the only goal I'm focused on today is making it look nice finally. In the last episode, you saw us fix... But that's not the point, because today we're going to be putting on a wipe-on clear coat. Specifically, the Vice Grip Garage wipe-on clear coat. And well, I've got a little bit of a special guest today that you'll see in just a moment. But before we get to that, we got to get this thing prepared to get washed and then clear coated. There's a few minor things that I got to do before all that happens. One of them being cutting off this bracket that's been on the side of this roof drip rail for, well, since I got the car, that is completely seized up. What else do I have to do? Oh, I got to start, uh, I got to clear all the sap that is accumulated on the roof, because the sap is not gonna be, well, I don't wanna cover over it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get those things done before my special guests get here today on this nice brisk morning. And we're gonna see how this Vice Grip Garage Clear Coat Wipe-On version works. And I'll let you know if a full can does a full-size station wagon, because well, I don't know. We'll see. Perfect. Let's clean off that tree sap, why don't we? Now, what I've got going on here is pretty much just a mix of one-to-one -one isopropyl alcohol and water. And, uh, well, I've got a scraper because I don't really care about the paint on this car. I don't care about scratching it. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but you probably want to use either a plastic scraper or just wipe off. Um, I'm just trying this stuff, don't know how well it works, but as you can see, I've got all this tree sap on this car with all these pine needles, and it actually got even on the paint at some point because I have pine trees that like to uh, shed during the summer. So I'm pretty much just gonna spray this on here and let it sit. Okie dokie. And I'm just going to carefully out, now really I need to let this sit a little bit, which some of it has, but it kind of just peels right off. And actually it's breaking the sap down to the point where I can almost wipe it off in some places. But it's also a cold morning, probably want to do this when it's warm. Just part of the gig. I'm just gonna wipe it off and probably spray again and wipe again and just keep doing this until we get it all off. All right, well, uh, like I said, our special guests are here. It's my brother-in-law, Brendan, and his son, Parker. Say hi, Parker. He said hi. So they're gonna help me out on the wagon today. And uh, before we get to doing the clear coat, uh, Parker over here is actually gonna help me fix my tail light and show me how to fix it. So we're gonna do that real quick. Okay, bub. So this tail light's broken. As you can see, we gotta, here, come over here, bud. See how it's broken? We're gonna replace it. Oh, there's a piece, you can take that right off. There you go, look at that, it's broken. Yeah, you should be able to just pull it off. Oh, awesome, cool. Well, I'll take that, since it's broken, throw it over there, and we gotta take these screws out. See these screws right here? Yeah. Use a screwdriver, you gotta unscrew them, you know how to do that? Yeah, get it right in the... I don't know. And then turn it that way, yeah. Just keep going, keep turning it. Rust on it. There's rust on it? Yeah, there's a little bit of rust on it. Yeah. You gotta hold this lower, bud. You gotta hold it like here. Yeah. Now turn it. Oh, there it is. Cool. We got one more. I'll take that. You can go do that one. Oh, nice. Awesome. All right, now we'll take the screwdriver, because I think that's it. And I think we just gotta pull this off. Nice job. Okay, and then 
These just pull out, although I don't know if you can do these because these are really hard. Oh, Ooh, a lot of dust, yeah. A lot of dust. You took, a, you took your first part off. We're going to save that because I don't have another one. Yeah, I don't have another one. It's That's the only one because it's the only one that was on the car for some reason. Which, you see yucky things? Yeah, a lot of dirt, huh? All right, but now we got to put this one back in. So we got to plug these. Can you plug those in? Yeah. Yeah, push real hard. Oh. Nice. No, that's in. That's pretty good. We'll just put a little bit more, but nice job. That's in. And then we got to plug these ones in, which are also kind of hard. This is a long screw. Be careful, bub. You want to make sure you're stepping on this because this is slippery. Why? Because it's slippery. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so uh, we uh, had to go make a quick trip, but we're back. And uh, what are we going to do, Parker? We're going to wash the car. We're going to wash the car. That's right. We're going to wash the car. We got to wash it down. Got to scrub it down with some Scotch Brite, which I got here. It's a little bit probably stiffer than I need, so we'll go lightly. But uh, we got to scuff it down so that the clear coat sticks, right? So that the paint sticks. Because you got to sand it down. He knows. He's going to tell us what to do. Boss man over here. So I'm just going to throw up the time lapse and uh, scrub a car. As you can see, we uh, taped up the car there. Did a pretty good job. Taped all we cared about, because it's all we need. Now I got the instructions here for this Vice Grip Garage wipe on clear coat. How much do I need? One 32 ounce container will cover one long bed C10 truck plus. Yep, this looks like a long bed C10. Close enough. Can I do more than one coat? Sure, I won't be. Shake well before use. Shake and not stirred. Good to know. Um, that's a big chart. Ah, damn. Directions. Always wear appropriate personal protective equipment. Sure. Uh, for best use, use in a well-ventilated area between 50 degrees and 77 degrees. It's pretty well-ventilated. About 65 degrees, so I think we're right in, the, uh, right in the range. Wash the surface with Dawn dish soap. Using a light-duty scuff pad. Yep, did that. Uh, rinse thoroughly. Yep, let it dry completely. Close enough. Wax and grease remover, wet, wet a rag, wipe on while drying with a different clean rag before applying. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna do this the right way, but you know, it'll be fine. Mix the clear catalyst, eight to one, good to know, blah, 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 two hour pot life, good to know. Uh, blow off the applicator, definitely should do that. Kind of forgot about that. Uh, boopity boop, 20, 30 minutes to dry, use acetone or xylene, don't have xylene, this is California, but uh, we got acetone, and then lay them out to dry so they don't combust and uh, don't die, yeah, that works, so I think it's good enough, we'll blow out the rag, and then we're just going to start laying on, laying on thick, so let's do it. I know, they're weird. I've never had ones like it. All right, well, uh, 
as you might be able to tell, it's shiny now. Went ahead and pulled it up into the uh, sunlight so it can cook on it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But no, it looks pretty good. It's probably hard to tell now that the sun's directly on it, but you can tell that the roof, it's got that deeper, richer color, you know? Parker, does it look good? Yeah. He thinks it needs a little bit more. There's a few spots that are a little stripy, no big deal, but you know, it's the first time using that stuff. And honestly, I'm pretty impressed with how it turned out. Uh, they weren't kidding about the 20 second work time because it definitely was 20 seconds or maybe faster. And uh, there were a few spots where I started getting runs in and he used a pretty big microfiber towel. I had the applicator. Applicator soaked that stuff up so fast and just threw it on. Micro my microfiber towel ended up just kind of soaking into it. And so it put on a, a lighter coat that didn't run. Uh, so definitely probably need to use one type, one or the other. Uh, but overall, it looks really good, especially this side turned out really well with the doors and everything. And the tailgate looks pretty good. And the roof, I think, turned out pretty good. Yeah, you're on TV right now. <laughs> He's on TV. Crazy. So I think, you know, for a much shorter than usual video, just trying this stuff out. I still have a lot of that stuff left over. I definitely have probably half a can which I might use some more of it tomorrow on that side, but honestly, we'll see. Yeah, so I still have about half a can left, probably more than I should have, but if you have a 60s or 70s boat of a station wagon, one is enough, because I've been everywhere on YouTube and couldn't figure out if one would be enough for a station wagon. One can of that clear coat is more than enough. So, anyways, this is probably where we're gonna end it here, so. I guess we'll see you next time. Say bye, Parker. Bye. See you later. See you until next time.